there used to be an expression that wherever you were, the first, the uh, nearest good harpsichord you'd find would be a Dowd. Now you'd probably say it's a Willard Martin. Uh, when Willard was at his height, he was making uh, upwards of 40 instruments a year. He had a lot of shop assistants. But this is an interesting instrument um, because Willard designed it from a 17th century uh, design with no prototype. Uh, and uh, he calls this his Mersen model because uh, the uh, music lexicographer Maran Marsen came up with a design for what he called an international instrument in uh, the year 1617. And whether he ever built it or not, we don't know, but Willard Martin looked at his um, writings and was able to put together um, a, a wonderful uh, earlier type of instrument, maybe. This instrument handles 17th century music in a way really better than the big French double does. I have this instrument tuned in a Renaissance and early Baroque tuning called quarter comma mean tone. We're, uh, uh, we do a little bit of robbing of Peter to, uh, to pay Paul because while certain keys are more in tune than you'd ever hear them, there are certain keys that you can't use. The worst is A-flat major, and I'll play you a stanza of Old MacDonald to give you the idea. Not very pretty, but when you go to C major, all your, um, uh, you have eight perfect major thirds. And what I do um, is, of course, you know, you stick within the keys that you can play in, but it's very, very beautiful this way. I'll play a galliard, that's a uh, jumping dance, from the uh, Antwerp Dance Book, and I believe that was published in 1580, uh, 1587. <laughs> This instrument has two choirs of strings, both at the unison pitch, just like the French double, one that is a little more mellow or fundamental rich, and then one that's a little more nasal, a little more pointed in quality. Mm -hmm. 